We're now going to look a little closer at the masthead amplifier, also known in the trade as an MHA. An MHA is often used in conjunction with digital TV aerial systems to provide a boost in signal when the signal levels are not quite at the level that is required. So let's have a look at this two-piece unit a little bit more closely, how it's set up and how we get the best out of it. So let's just take a moment just to look at the splitter unit here. As you see, it comes in a waterproof housing. At the back of the unit here, you thread through a tie wrap which affixes the waterproof housing to an aerial mast um, to protect. The waterproof housing protects the internal element here that receives the 12 volt power supply from a remote source. And usually there is a small foam um, bar that crosses across the cables as they come in here to provide a nice waterproof seal. So when the unit is completely closed, it is completely watertight. What we see here are three inputs. The first one is UHF, which is the input from the TV aerial. Uh, these are F connector screw type fittings. And then we have our two outputs here uh, to the two TV points. These units come singularly, so you can provide a boosted or amplified signal just to one TV point or multiple points as in the case here with two. They go two, four, six, even eight. You can provide signal boosted to, to eight TV points via this or a unit like this one. You'll also see on the unit here we have a variable gain. In this case it goes from um, 12 um, dB to 25 dB. And you adjust this with a small flathead uh, screwdriver or something similar. Um, they usually come default from the manufacturer at uh, 12 and therefore you can just adjust the level up as needed once you get an accurate reading from your uh, analyzer to see what the levels are. Uh, essentially, we're looking for something around about 50 dB for a comfortable level of signal. We certainly don't want to provide too much signal or too little, as is the case via this unit. So let's look a little bit more closely at how this is powered. Uh, as you'll see here, as it says on the unit, it can be powered via the 12 volt, volt power supply via any of these inputs. So you can connect a um, cable from a TV point to one of these that has the power supply uh, connected to that point and it will provide power for our unit remotely. So let's look more closely at the power supply. So we see that on this unit here, it's very simple. We have an in, and we have an out to the TV. And the in, we simply connect from the aerial, which could be on the roof, and therefore we have a down lead of cable that comes from the aerial on the roof, and we simply connect it via an F connector into here. This will take the power from the unit to the uh, masthead amp splitter box to provide the boost that we need. And then the other output here just goes directly to our TV. So we would take a fly lead, something like this. At one end, we have an F connector to connect into here. And the other is the coax lead that will be connected into the back of the television or set top box. So we simply connect our screw F connector onto here. And then we're a we're ready to connect to our TV. And then after that, we just simply plug it in and make sure that the green light here shows an indicator that we have power. Mm -hmm. 